Hi guys, Jeff Clark, Sources Apprentice. Today I want to share with you the result of a Craigslist buy that I just got home from. I saw a guy on Craigslist with a bunch of Monopoly games for sale. So I went to his house and uh, looked at his collection. We agreed on a price of $450. That sounds like a lot of money, and it is a lot of money. I mean, I've got seven kids, i got bills to pay. I don't just hand $450 to anybody. But um, I think I made a good buying decision today. Let me show you this collection, and uh, we'll talk about why I paid as much as I did. So here's a collection. There's 40 games here. So at $450, you know, I paid uh, a little over 11 bucks a piece for all these games. Now these over here on the right, these are the non-monopoly games. Um, some of these are not worth $11. I mean, a couple of these sell for five, six bucks on Amazon. So I'll either let the kids play with them or donate them to the church thrift shop or whatever. But the monopoly games, I am really, really pleased with. Even the uh, the open ones here, and I separated them. This whole stack is open games, and then this stack on the left, these are still sealed in cellophane. Look at that. The open ones, these themed Monopoly games, these will go for 20, 30, 40 bucks, some of them. Uh, the sealed ones, most of these, and I mean most of them, will sell for 80, 90, 100 bucks. This uh, Monopoly Disney, I sold a sealed one of these earlier this summer for $90. So, you know, it's proven. I know it's going gonna, it's gonna to go. And then the ranks, um, most of these ranks are somewhere between fifty and 250000 So, you know, they're not going to sell immediately, but they will sell within a couple of months, maybe three, four months. Um, and I don't know too many places. I mean, you know, multiply the prices out here. There's probably, well, there's over two grand worth of sales here. I don't know uh, of any bank where I can deposit 450 bucks. And then withdraw two thousand dollars six months later, unless I'm holding a gun in my hand. Um, so I'm I'm happy to pay four hundred fifty bucks for this collection. Now uh, let me talk about pricing here for a second. A lot of times, you know, when I'm making offers on collections like this, whether it's a collection of books or a collection of records, um, if I'm at an estate sale or a yard sale or something, uh, and I want to make an offer to somebody, I engage them in a little conversation first and try to get a little bit of a psychological read on who they are and why they're selling. Um, a lot of people are just like, oh my gosh, I've got so much junk, I just want to clear it out. Those are the people, you know, you can make a lowball offer of a couple bucks and they're happy to just give you everything they've got. Um, but this guy, when I was talking with him, he was really proud of his collection. You know, it had taken him several years to build up this collection. He just uh, just needed some money, didn't want it anymore, um, but didn't want to take the time to sell them one by one on eBay. So uh, so I offered him a high enough price that he was able to feel good about his collection. Because uh, if I would have lowballed him too much, he, he would have not taken it and um, we wouldn't have had a transaction. So just a little hint there, you know, when you're, when you're talking with people, try to get a read on them. Uh, do a little bit of psychology study first. Anyway, that is my haul for today, and I'm pretty happy with it, and I'm going to go list and ship some games. So leave me some comments, let me know what you guys think, and tell me what you're finding in your sourcing.